you guys, it was so, so funny to me because I think a lot of you guys... So hi, Doministas! It's me, the Pecan Tan Beauty, and welcome to my channel. Or as always, I welcome you back to my channel. So today's video, guys, is going to be an unboxing so you guys I posted a poll in my Facebook group the Duninista Den as well as here in the YouTube community as to what bag you thought I was going to unbox next so I did give you four choices and I asked you to choose which bag you thought I was gonna pick up. And it's so funny and I absolutely love it. You guys think you know me so much. You think you know my style. And a lot of you were spot on. I will say that you were spot on. Some of you even analyzed why you think I chose this bag versus that bag. I thought it was so cute. So thank you guys so, so much just for playing along and deciding on what bag you thought I picked up. So I did purchase this bag during the Memorial Day sale. I think it was either 20 or 25% off and it was already on sale. So I got a pretty decent deal on it. And I'm also going to include this bag in my Never Say Never series. If you have been following me, you know the beginning of 2019. I picked up a couple of bags that I at one point said never to. And so for 2019, I thought that I would start to step outside of my box a little bit, not too far, but stepping outside of my box and choosing bags or accessories or colors or types of leather that I at one point said never to. And I have learned my lesson with that because I used to say never to hobos. And look, you guys, the Kingston hobo is one of my absolutely favorite style bags. So this is actually the bag that I carry today. And I did not pair it with this shirt. I just put on this shirt for the sake of the video. So I'm pretty sure you can already guess what is inside of the box. So this is my Dooney & Burke Florentine Leather Kingston Hobo in the color orange. And you guys, I picked this bag up brand new with tags, probably I'm gonna say three or so years ago. I got an awesome price for it. I don't pull her out very often. So, so far I have been pretty happy there was one bag and that was the Dooney and Burke Russell bag that I always said never to and I did pick up one during a very very good sale earlier this year and I think I am going to revert back to saying never to that bag. For some reason, I just cannot get into the Russell Tote. It is a beautiful bag, but for me personally, it just does not work. So anyway, this bag here is another bag that I said never to. Not necessarily the bag, but the type of style that the bag is. And I will get more into that and hopefully my gut feeling before I ordered the bag is not going to disappoint me. So anyway guys, let's get into the box. All right guys, so here is the box. And were you guys right on what you thought I ordered? I will admit I am a tad bit nervous only because I saw another size in this particular bag and the Duninista said that it was too small. So hopefully this size would be perfect for me for what I want to use it for. So let's see, here is my invoice. 
And this did come from I Love Dooney. Okay. So good. So far. Let's see what we have. It's not as small as I thought it was. It is small, but here it is. And I'm sure you can already guess what it is. Okay, not bad. Oh, you guys, I am going to love this. So anyway, this is the Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather Small Hattie in the color Salmon. So let's get into this bag, guys. So first, let me just tell you why I said never. First of all, I said never to the small Barlow years ago when it came out because I was thinking, why have a big bag made into a small bag? I know that's kind of weird, but that was just my crazy Dooney-Nista thought process. So... When I saw this bag, the first thing that I said, again, was why would you make a smaller bag of this particular style? And I said I will never purchase a Hattie drawstring. But guess what? I have a Hattie drawstring. And I thought about going with the larger Hattie. I do already own a ginger large hattie but in this particular color i have a satchel as well as a domed buckle satchel in the color salmon so i thought that i would just go with something a little bit smaller and i thought it made sense so Let's get into this. You guys, I am pretty excited. I have been doing some cruises lately, some just little mini day cruises. And I think that these smaller crossbody style bags is perfect. And it has absolutely been the way to go for me. So here we are. And again, this is the Dooney and Burke. Florentine Leather Small Hattie in the color Salmon. And wow, you guys, look how cute this is. And you guys, it's really not that small. This is the small. The mini, I think, would have been too small. But this is absolutely perfect. So let's just see here. And my lighting is terrible right now because the sun is about to go down and I wanted to get this recorded because I want to carry it this weekend so here she is oh my oh and she does come with a little dust bag Actually, she is a pretty decent little size, you guys, to be a small crossbody. A really decent size. And it, she is as smooth as butter. There is not one bit of pebbling at all on this bag. Absolutely beautiful. I am 100% happy I'm just checking out everything but I'm sure it is okay it does have the leather lining on the inside which I absolutely love and let's see here we have our strap and it also has the little buckle here where you can buckle it I always like the duck side for some reason so I am going to put it on like that and they had the strap folded, which made the, the little flaps here stick up. But that is an easy fix. I will just kind of do like this for a while.
but you guys look how cute I am absolutely happy and I am so glad you guys that I took the plunge on this cute little Hattie absolutely beautiful so if you would like a what fits in my small Florentine Hattie give this video a thumbs up or just put a comment below and I will definitely do a what fits in my Hattie but I am so happy I am satisfied absolutely beautiful and this like I said my lighting is bad but it is a beautiful, beautiful, corally like color. So anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>